channel. Today I'm going to do a April 2020 bullet journal plan with me and a review. So let's get started. When you flip to April, you see this pretty spring cover page and I pick flowers for April because it's basically when spring starts and I thought flowers was a good idea for the cover page and for the theme of April. So for these flowers, I colored them with the Crayola Super Tips and I did calligraphy with these Crayola Super Tips. I used a black marker for the Crayola Super Tips to do the calligraphy because Crayola Super Tips are one of the most um, used um, products for calligraphy other than Tomboy Dual Brush Pens and Pigma Markers and Brush Pens. And I thought that markers was a good idea because colored pencils, which I did for January, wouldn't be as bright and as well saturated of a color for April because April is more sh like sunny, rainy, um, springy if that's a word kind of month and so I did a plain background I didn't color the background I don't think in any of my um, cover pages I color the background but some people do but I just like to keep it plain and simple and do like little details which makes it look more bigger and brighter and better and so I did flowers and these flowers and the colors I choose was specifically to go together like the all pastel and light colors but if you want to do dark colors like I know yellow would be a good color for spring and let's say green for the greenery and orange if I want to do bright colors you can do that as well but I like to do pastel and light colors because it looks very like I don't know what to say very soft and simple so that's for the cover page now I'm going to talk about the monthly calendar for April. You flip to the next page, you see this pretty April calendar. And it's actually, guys, really simple. I didn't put a lot of effort. Well, I did put effort, but like not as much as January over here. Where is it? Yes, like this than this but I want to try something new like something simple and I actually liked it a lot for you people who are like not that you know overachievers who want to do a lot of designs but I think this is actually really good because it's really simple and all I did was I just um um put out all the squares wrote their um dates and numbers and, and I just used this pink Suit Crayola Super Tip and just highlighted it. And so it gives a little color, but it actually is really good, guys. That's what I think. Because, like, if you do a little over a lot, then you might as well pull a lot of hurt, might get tired of it. So, yeah, that's what I did. I just put a um, little color, but if you want, you can also add flowers here, and I did the same font. I always do the same font for the calendar and the front cover. For April, I did that, and the same thing I did here with the Crayola Super Tips. So there's that, and I think that's all I need to talk about. But oh wait, I forgot one more thing. This is a different monthly calendar setup again. So, you know how, okay, so let me just show you January's. This is January's two page, really, this is like a bomb, a fire of explosions, like, seriously. The fireworks really look good with this. This is one way you can do a monthly calendar setup. The other way is you can do this way. This one has a little more gap than April's. Um, you can also add hearts and designs, That's, you can do that. For March, uh, it's more small of a space than I put this month, cause this, you can write the dates out and numbers there, but if you want, you can also write, um, over here, the events, like St. Patrick's Day, someone's birthday, a test, anything, or you can also do it up here as well, and here is April, it's a little, like, little space down here, 
that's why I didn't want to like do flowers because like it wouldn't be a much of a space for the flowers to fit in and it won't look good for like half flowers so that's why I thought of just doing you know just plain simple because it looks good like pastel colors and simple it looks really good and so I think that's it for 30 guys please make sure to comment like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye